Hey guys, it's Jeremy here. So today we're going to be talking about Illustrator versus Photoshop. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got this cool new shirt from Andy J. Miller. I used to listen to his podcast called Creative Pep Talk. Um, I think you can find it on iTunes. Um, super cool and really interesting if you're into creative design. But yeah, so Illustrator versus Photoshop, what is better? To be honest, Illustrator, I love using Illustrator because I've mastered the program and I've learned all the tips and tricks. I find it a lot easier. Specifically, if it's doing logo design, you have to do an Illustrator because Illustrator is a vector program. It uses mathematical equations and points to make shapes. What you can do is actually scale those graphics and scale them up. And Photoshop uses raster graphics, which is pixels, right? So if you scale them up, they can actually lose some of the resolution, some of the quality in the pixels when you're scaling it up. So those are the two major differences. You know, Photoshop is great for photo manipulation. If you're editing photos, if you're matching your photos, it's good for digital painting as well. That's super cool for Photoshop. But you know, you typically just want to use it for that. But with Ill Illustrator, it's more flexible. It's great for logo designs. You can do flat illustrations. You know, you can even do texturing in there. You can do print design work like posters and all that cool stuff. And you can even put images in there as well. But 100% it's good for those first things I mentioned. So, you know, each program is good for its certain uses. So, you know, you want to use the appropriate one for the specific client project you're working on, whether it be Illustrator or Photoshop. You know, I love Illustrator and I do a lot of my work in there unless I'm editing raw photos. Um, then I'll jump into you know Photoshop or Lightroom, which is super cool. But is one better than the other? No, not necessarily. But specifically, it's for logo design. You want to do Illustrator. But you know it's good to learn both, especially if you go to design college. You're going to learn both, and you're going to learn InDesign as well. But you know both are good. Um, just depends you know what you flow in, what the project is, um, what are the requirements and needs, and what type of work you're doing, and then see what's going to work best for you. So yeah, there's a couple tips. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Leave a comment below in the comment section of what tutorials you guys want to see or what design tips you want to hear. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and have a good week.